Watching Corridor go from where it was to where it is now, to me is like watching the journey of Bilbo Baggins in The Hobbit as he sets out an adventure by himself and he picks up friends along the way and goes on adventures and becomes older and wiser for it. I mean, look at this, this team that we have now. Making YouTube videos started for us as kind of like a, hey, we're making goofy short films, but it like turned into this whole like operation now. We started off making viral videos, mainly focused on cool visual ideas and like video game fan films. And, you know, we went from that to just making cool short films about really anything that caught our fancy that we think people would want to enjoy. And then that evolved again to us having this show, Visual Effects Artists React, Stuntmen, Stuntwomen React, Animators React, where we break down a lot of these techniques in films. And we've had amazing guests come and join us from all over the industry, professionals just sharing the incredible stories that, that they have. And that's basically Corridor. It's a whole mix of a bunch of crazy artists all wanting to make cool stuff, just trying to make visuals that wow people and share that knowledge and that education with people as well. The amazing opportunity with coming to Corridor is it's a studio that basically encourages you to be like, what do you want? How do you want to do it? And so it's been amazing to just have that freedom of being like, okay, I have the resources. Now it's up to me to make this work. My first project was this super fun Batman kind of remix trailer mashup that was essentially taking the Adam West Batman and putting him into the Robert Pattinson Batman film. This funny idea that we were laughing about over coffee you know, kind of blew up, went a little bit viral. And a really special thing about that video was Adam West's family actually ended up saying that Adam always wanted to, you know, have a cameo in one of the new Batman films. And now he finally has it. So the big advancement that let myself and a lot of people here start making the stuff that we're making, is basically computers. It's the idea that you can have a home computer and there's software on it that lets you edit, it lets you color grade, it lets you do 3D renders, it lets you do 2D compositing. And at this point now we're getting into artificial intelligence, deep fakes, image generation, audio processing. There's a whole bunch of crazy, crazy bits of technology and it's working now on our machines. So we use Puget Computers for all of our computers here. And for us to be able to do what we do and to experiment, we need these powerful computers to be able to pull that off. Especially as more and more of us here have gotten these new systems and across the board, we're all just like, yeah, all of our computers are good enough for us to not have to think about them. That's the point. The moment you start having to think about whether or not what tool you're using is gonna work for you, it's already over. Before coming to Cordor Digital, I worked at Weta FX. And what's really common in a lot of the large scale studio system is you're working off of virtual machines. It's been really kind of a nice, you know, return to form coming to Corridor where we get to work on these powerhouse stations provided by Puget that you can just throw things at them and it's just going to get things done. A fluid simulation or super dense CG scenes and it's still rendering out like 10 seconds of frame. It's just, it's amazing. It changes how you think. If you know your computer's not going to be the problem, you're not going to be wasting time thinking about all right, am I gonna have enough time to render out 10 shots in the next week? It's just like, yeah, 10 shots, that's not a big deal. I'm not even gonna think about that now. I'm gonna think about other problems. As an artist, you gotta learn how to use tools, but you also gotta learn how to trust those tools. You know, a big evolution that we've had because we work with Puget Computers is that when we think about future projects, we don't think about them from a hardware capability. Like, son of a dungeon, we're shooting on a green screen with real-time motion-tracked camera, uh, virtual production running into Unreal Engine with real-time rendering. It's all just happening right there. It was literally like, what software do we need? What pieces of hardware do we need? Vive trackers, etc. Okay, we need these cables for the camera. And what tutorials do we need to watch to teach us how to do this? At no point in the process were we sitting down then trying to troubleshoot, like, why can't this computer handle it? What pieces of machinery do we need? That's all just been taken care of for us. And that's basically led us to where we are today at this point, where we finally have a tracking system that is very reliable. It works really well. You can get handheld shots, move the camera around. We can see what the environment's supposed to look like. We know where the lights are supposed to be. We can nail the shot because we know, like we can actually see what we're looking at. There's a lot of cables, cameras, trackers, lights, all that stuff. But ultimately, it has to all funnel into one thing. And that one thing is the super beefy Puget computer we have downstairs for our virtual production setup. 
it's the dream, you know? You wanna be able to go on a green screen and film a bunch of stuff and not have to deal with any of the BS later, you know? And this kind of finally does that. I think one of our greatest strengths as a company has been our ability to evolve. We have this amazing hardware here and you know, Sam has his amazing son of a dungeon virtual camera setup he built out. It's just stuff that I, you know, starting my career, couldn't have even dreamed of having access to. We have such an amazing, talented team of people here now. You know, there's amazing renders being made every day by the guys here. There's amazing short film ideas being made by the people here. It's, it's a really cool, co like, collaborative collection. Now we're just trying to make that next step in terms of doing our own narrative scripted content while also still exploring the art form, the technology of visual effects and digital filmmaking, because it's moving so fast. I mean, I will say before you cut, though, I mean, on a personal note, because I do have a Puget at home, it has reintroduced my life to art generation. I stopped making stuff and it was kind of sad. So getting the new uh, Puget to actually work on at home like changed everything. I found myself staying up late just working on random renders because it was fun and then I had something to show for it at the end of it. And it was awesome, I was proud of it. It changed everything. Like as like an actual like personal anecdote, it, like it brought a lot of happiness into my life.